back to another episode of Eliza's Antique Kitchen and today we're going to be making strawberry rhubarb crisp and the recipe is up here if you guys would like to try it yourselves. Um, the ingredients are um, what looks like a lot of rhubarb, um, sugar, strawberries, um, lemon juice, cornstarch, vanilla extract, and this side is for the filling of our crisp. And uh, this side is for the crisp. Um, we have salt, cinnamon, or sorry, cinnamon, um, canola oil, uh, brown sugar, butter, oats, and flour. Okay, guys, so for our first step, we have to toss and turn some sugar into the strawberries and rhubarb, but it's two separate bowls. So in our strawberries, we have to, geez, we have to uh, add in a half a cup of sugar into those. So let's do that. And then um, also the grandma who gave us the rhubarb, she's going to be one of our taste testers tonight. So that's exciting, so stay tuned for that. Um, and we're also gonna have uh, my grandpa too. And then we are going to have obviously the whole family, maybe if everyone wants to do it, but yeah. And then we're going to have, how, how much of? Three fourths cup of um, uh, sugar, yeah, sugar. Is it good, Dad? Cause we didn't, okay. So let's add this. Sorry, that's the uh, oven. I need to preheat it. So now we have to toss and turn this. What am I gonna get it for? For free. Oh, I gotta get a spatula. Oh, a wooden spoon will be fine. Wednesday. Okay. Uh, we'll just do it. Okay, so now we're gonna. Oh, jeez. Yeah, by the way, these strawberries are frozen, so it's kind of. I kind of forgot about that, so. These are going to be, are they going to get mushed? Anyway. So we're just going to toss and turn these. And then we're going to let that sit for a second. Then we're going to toss and turn our uh, rhubarb. And then um, we have to let it sit once we toss and turn them. We have to um, let them sit for 15 minutes. Okay guys, so now our strawberry and our rhubarb are, oh my, rhubarb are all done uh, sitting in the sugar for 15 minutes. So now um, we have to transfer our rhubarb to our strawberry and we cannot let any of the rhubarb juice get into our strawberry. So we have to make sure that doesn't happen. So that's why we have the spoon with like, all the holes in the bottom. Slotted. Slotted, same. Oh, same thing. Okay guys, so <clears throat> we add, excuse me. <clears throat> we've added of our uh, rhubarb to the strawberries. So now we have to add in three tablespoons of cornstarch to our um, rhubarb and, um, oh my gosh, rhubarb and strawberry. And I noticed like cornstarch, it like, I'm not like I'm feeling it, but I just, when I got it in my hand earlier, it uh, felt like uh, rubber, like it feels like rubber. Like, I know, it's weird. So three, oh my gosh. Three table, oh, yeah, tablespoons of um, cornstarch, and then after that, you have to add in two teaspoons of lemon juice. After I struggle to get the cornstarch out of the packet, and it's getting cornstarch everywhere in the bag. I'm not trying to make a mess. Like, look at this bag; it's like destroyed now because I can't get it. <laughs> oh my god! Well, let's place my box and not over the counter. There we go. Okay, there's three. I'm gonna corn torch everywhere. <laughs> okay, so now I have to add in two teaspoons of um, lemon juice. Hopefully we have enough because it doesn't feel like we have a lot. Um, oh, geez. So there is one. It bounced off the corn starch, or the, yeah. And two. And then we add in one one teaspoon of vanilla extract. I'm so used to one that flips up like the cap. Vanilla smells is like my favorite smell ever. It smells so good. 
So there is one, and then we have to mix it around. Let's... So now we're going to mix this all together. Um, and then we are going to add it to our baking pan, which is sprayed, so it does not stick when it's baking. Is it baking? Yeah. Okay, so our mixture is all mixed together. So uh, now we have to, it looks like a, like a smoothie, kind of, like the liquid. Um, so now we have to add this to our baking pan. We're going to throw this in there. Um, probably want to even it out so it's not super clumpy everywhere. Oh, that looks really good. I need to look at them. I need to see them. I like a fruit cake. That's going to look well. Hey guys, so it's time to start working on our crisp. And so first you're going to add in one stick of um butter kind of kind of not melted but like warmed softened yeah warm softened something <laughs> um i hate opening these packages because they stick to your fingers but uh, add in one and a half cups of uh brown sugar and flour but we're gonna do our, our brown sugar first okay so i'm gonna add the half into there oh it's satisfying how that just broke and then I didn't add a cup of brown sugar. It's even gonna fit. Pat that down. I, I pat it down like inside, so when I take it out, I don't have to keep um, measuring it. So okay, so there's. Oh, it's so satisfying. And then we have to also add in a cup and a half of flour. <laughs> So we're gonna add that into here. So there's our cup, I'm gonna have to add in another half. Don't want me, just. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna add that in. Maybe a little song there. One and one fourth of oats, right? Okay. So here's the one fourth. And it's all going into the same bowl because oh my gosh, it's something back when we made did we make oatmeal cookies at one point? Oh my god, those are so good. Like I miss having it. And then a cup. Cup. I'm gonna add that in. Oh my gosh. I mean I'm just gonna dump it because So you got it? That's pretty even. So we're gonna add that in. And then, and then three tablespoons of um, our canola oil. I've used uh, like things for recipes like brownies and um, they say vegetable oil, but we just use canola oil because it's kind of the same thing. Not really, but yeah, because we don't use it. They say it's a little healthier, oh. <laughs> whatever that means. <laughs> So one, two, I'm getting on the back of my finger, I can feel it. And then three. So we got three um, teaspoons of that. Three four teaspoons of, um, so where's my teaspoon right here? So I'm just gonna do a teaspoon and then a little, yeah, a little less than Okay, that's good. So we're gonna add this here. Cinnamon. Uh, one and a half teaspoons. So we're gonna, yeah, so we're just gonna, cinnamon smells so good. Oh my gosh, that's going back to, um, um, there's one and then a half. Oh wait, no, no, that's, I forgot, half. Trying to get it to a half. Yeah, that's good. So, 
I'm gonna add that in and then we're going to be string around. This is, this reminds me of like a fall dessert, like I wanted to do. Cause it just looks like, like cinnamon, oatmeal. So we're gonna mix these all through all of our dry ingredients. Um, what is that? Oh, it's our butter. Um, and then we're gonna be forming, um, clumps of like things cause the butter is gonna make it so it's clumps, obviously. Um, this smells so good. Like a cinnamon smell. The butter. So we're going to start sprinkling this on the top of our I'm gonna have to spread it out obviously, but whoa, the clumps. That's why I thought I should use my hands, but that didn't know. I'm just gonna try to put it on there and then I'm gonna spread it out. I'll pick that up. I'm just gonna do that and I'm gonna spread it out. Oh my god, there's a lot in there. And yet, we still have that much. Okay, so that's a lot of crisp. Um, but more, the, uh, yeah, is that the saying? More the better? Well, it's usually the more the merrier, but. More the merrier, oh yeah. More the better, too. Like I said, yeah. when it comes to desserts, I would think it goes with that. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so now, oh geez, that's heavy. We're gonna be putting it in the oven for, um, how long? 25 minutes? Okay. So we're gonna be putting it in the oven for 25 minutes and, um, at 375 on the bottom. I'm afraid that door's gonna burn me. Over 25 minutes. There we go. Okay, guys. Um, our yeah. <laughs> so yeah. Um, our dessert is done, and so now it is time to take it out of the oven. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's heavy. Oh my gosh. Guys, it smells very good. Oh, it <laughs> I don't even like overflowed the sides. This is a little waterfall going down. Yeah, so once this cools down for 20 minutes, we are going to be doing our taste test. I'll see you guys then. All right, guys, our crisp is all ready for our taste test. And uh, we have a few more uh, taste testers today. Uh, first, we have obviously dad and then mom. Uh, we have Lily, me, Grandma, which she's the one who gave us the rhubarb. Um, Grandpa and uh, Veronica. I forgot how to visit it. <laughs> um, so we're gonna start with mom. Ooh, I'm bright. Yeah. Gotta make sure you get a little bit of everything. I agree. Scoop it, bro. Yeah. Mm. Very good. Why do I have to? All right. Oh my gosh. Ten out of ten. It's very, very good. Good job. I'm gonna go with Thank mom. You. This one's actually the only one I like, so. <laughs> 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 I say 10 out of 10. I think it was very good flavor. I think um, it's better with, what was the last thing that we did? It was the crust, was like the last thing we did, the crust was not good at all, had no flavor. But this one actually has a good flavor. And um, I've, if you made this, I would serve it warm because I think it's really good warm. So I think it's 10 out of 10. Very good, 10 out of 10. Strawberry and rhubarb is always good together. Yes. 10 out of 10. <laughs> I say 10 out of 10. It's good. Oh, this is there we go. pretty yeah, easy. So there good. you go. All right. I'm not gonna do it. Well, I'm pretty sure I already know what it's going to be because this is delicious. My mom used to make this all the time as a kid. So, not all the time, but she used to make it quite a bit. Used to make it quite a bit. Dude. Where's your recipe out of? Mm. If you guys didn't know, this is my mom and dad. Um, no, okay. I'm sure you know that by now. But phenomenal, oh, 10 out of 10. I enjoy the sourness yeah. of the rhubarb. It's amazing. Strawberry is really good. The crisp is amazing. 10 out of 10. This is a highly recommend. You must try if you're looking for a great dessert. Pretty easy, honestly, to make too. She did it pretty fast. So 
Definitely a 10 out of 10. Okay, guys, that rhubarb, strawberry rhubarb uh, crisp was so good. Like, actually, 10 out of 10 from everyone, I highly recommend it. Like, if it's 10 out of 10, I think, from everyone, I think that it's that's enough proof that you guys should try it. Um, so, thank you so much for watching. If you could uh, like, subscribe, and comment down below if you guys have ever tried it or, or and if you liked it because i thought it was really good i because I, I don't usually like rhubarb but i just tried it and it's really good um so i'll see you guys next time eliza's anti-kitchen